Today, I will teach you five simple tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone you may not even know, and then it will make your life much easier, okay? So make sure you subscribe my new channel, make sure you support this channel, share it to everyone, and then you will learn a lot of new things about your Samsung Galaxy phone. So let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna go into the camera, and then we're gonna go into the gallery, and then you can see there are so many pictures or whatsoever in right here. Now, you, did you know that if you go to the search button, you can actually search by colors. Let's just say if I type green, you can see everything about green will show up. If you say, if you want to search blue, every single picture related to blue it will show up. So basically on this AI, they can actually identify what color you're looking for. You can see that, or maybe purple, okay? Something like that. You can actually search image much easier just by typing your color. And actually put a screenshot right there. So every time when I press that, you can see there's a screenshot. And then you can go into there, then you can go in your gallery, look at your screenshot. How do I put a button right down here? Any button you want, even though if you have like this, you can put a button at the bottom right there. How do I do that? So first of all, we have to go on to good lock, okay? And then we have to go to a nav star. So if you go to the nav star, which is on right here, okay, you see the nav star? You go in there, you can press new, and then you can press button layout, okay? When you add button right there, you can actually place any button you want in here. Let's just say if you do screenshot very, very often, you can just, just tap that, move it around, whatever you want, okay? Whatever you want. And then you can press done, press save, and make sure that you highlight the item that you want to select. And now you have selected your screenshots, and then at the bottom, you can see it's already there. Very simple, you see, you don't have to do side button right here. You don't have to do that. Everything just right there and it will do a button for you. So right now we're gonna go to the widget. Okay, you squeeze on the home page, go to the widget, and now you search for device. Okay, device well-being, uh, device care or digital well-being. Let's just say we go to for digital well-being. You can see there's a lot of you know information that you want to know. Let's just say I want to place it right there. Now we're gonna go in. Did you notice new features? You can actually set a timer for a certain app. Okay. So let's just say if I if your son or your child using YouTube way often, you can actually set a timer. Okay. You go in there. You look for your YouTube. Let's just say. Okay, YouTube, right there. You can actually set a timer, what day, what time, how many hours they can go onto the YouTube. And then once you pass, the, when you over that time, they will actually stop running that YouTube and they cannot open it. But yes, they can actually change the timer by themselves. But basically you can actually set a timer for yourself. If you know that your child is going on YouTube way too much, I'm going to go on timer way too much or go on Facebook way too much and you want to monitor them, you can actually set a timer just like that. Number four, did you know that we go on the widget and now we go to the device care, okay? And then we're gonna go into right here, type it out, add it. So now the device care is right there. We're gonna go into the memories right here. Did you know that you can actually use a thing called RAM Plus, okay, right there. What does it do is, let's just say your phone has only 12 gig RAM or your phone have eight gig RAM. And sometimes when you do a lot of multitasking and everything, you know that sometimes if you run out, run out, run out of RAMs, your phone start get laggies and everything. Did you know that you can actually use RAM Plus 
So basically, whatever your storage, let's just say this storage has 256K, you can borrow 8K, 6K, 4K from the storage and then put into the RAM and then you can use those virtual RAM. So your phone will not be laggy, your phone will not be not showing the image because you run out of RAMs. You can actually use a virtual RAMs, put into your phone. So now let's just say you have a 12 gig RAM plus eight, that means you have 20 gig RAM. But the eight, eight, eight gig RAM is just a virtual, you cannot see it, you cannot do anything. And then that's it. Every time when you change the RAM, they will ask you to reset the phone. You must reset the phone in order to make this work. And that's how it is. This is called RAM Plus. This is the last trick. Let's just say you go on YouTube. Usually, if you go on YouTube, you're going to be fast forwarding, you know, sometimes, right? You're going to fast forwarding your video. Sometimes when you fast forward, it's only 10 seconds, as you can see. Okay, every time we fast forward is only 10 seconds. What if you actually want to fast forward much more seconds? Did you know that on the Samsung Galaxy, no, on the YouTube, you can actually go onto your settings and then go to your general. If you go to, okay, this one right here, double tap to seek. You can actually change the seconds. Let's say 30 seconds. Now when you watch the YouTube video, okay, and now you double tap, you can see it changed to 30 seconds. So it will skip way much faster than just 10 seconds itself, okay? So this is it. So this is the five new tricks on the Samsung Galaxy phone. I know this one is going to be on iPhone as well too, but this is the very, very useful tricks that you need to know on your phone. Please subscribe my channel, support this new channel, and I will create more and more contents for you guys. Please, please, please subscribe. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.